One of the important points that people often ask me about is do I get into an MBA through a CAT or a GMAT? Now that is an interesting question because both these uh, options are very good in terms of trying to get to top B schools. But uh, what you need to understand is that the CAT is, is uh, the time frame when you take a CAT and the time frame when you take a GMAT has very little merger between the two. The CAT is a exam that you take in your final year of graduation or till three years maybe three to four years after your graduation so if you are going for an MBA or if you plan to go for an MBA within one two three or four years of of finishing of your graduation the CAT is the exam for you but if you have already passed three four years uh, of your uh, career after finishing of your graduation then the GMAT starts becoming more important because the GMAT uh, typically gets you into two kinds of B schools. It gets you into Indian B schools with executive programs and it gives you, gets you into international B schools across the world. And for both these programs, the executive programs, uh, for example, the, the typical work X that, you will, that people have when they are doing executive programs will be around 7-8 years, 9 years average experience while entering a, an, an MBA. So, so naturally, the GMAT will be taken by people who have at least five to six years of experience. So, GMAT starts becoming relevant maybe two to three years after your uh, MBA, after your graduation, and then it remains relevant for the next eight to ten years. The CAT, on the other hand, starts becoming relevant in your second year, third year of graduation, and remains relevant to three to five years after your graduation. So, that's the difference between the two exams. In terms of uh, difficulty levels, people perceive that the GMAT is an easy exam in maths and tough in English, but that's not right. The GMAT maths can actually become really tough if you hit the top band of scores because the GMAT is an adaptive uh, test and as you keep getting questions correct, you will keep getting tougher questions. So if you keep getting, you, you do 7-8 questions correct. The ninth question that you will receive will be so tough that you will not even see it in CAT. So it's a myth in, in my view that the GMAT is easier to prepare for and so on. It's not. So in that sense, the decision is essentially about what kind of MBA you're looking at. Executive MBAs, etc. obviously are, are costlier than uh, your regular MBAs. So the advice then happens is, is in the sense, I mean, if you're considering cost also, then the normal MBA becomes slightly cheaper. The fact that it gets over early in your career is also gives you a longer span as a management graduate. If you already worked for 8 to 10 years in the industry and then do an executive program, then you have only 20 years more of work ex, of work work uh, work zone work time left. So the impact you will be able to create will be slightly lesser than uh, somebody who started off as an IMA graduate at 23, for example. So these are some factors that you consider when you are talking about CAT versus GMAT. Thanks a lot.